when I grew up, I didn't know I was gay because there was no word. I never heard of the word. I felt different when I was young. I always felt girly. I started to dress a lot of times indoors. I thought I was the only one. Like, why, why did I have a kind of a weakness? I was in hospital. I just said to the doctor I couldn't live without affection. And he said to me, what right have you to affection? It was a, a hard time. That's tough. My confirmation. You had to wear a dress. I hated it. I knew then, like, definitely there is something wrong with you all. Something mid mental or physically wrong with you. And I was 12 years of age. Dancing in the streets with the young and beautiful. And she'd be left to the young and beautiful. I'm here today to invite someone very special with me to Pride. They're the ones that fought for our right to be who we are. I've never been to Dublin Pride. Never, not once. Hello. Hello, how are how you? How are you? I'm here today to ask you if you will come to Dublin Pride with me. On a big Pride bus, yeah? Oh. On the bus, yeah. I was thinking about it. I don't know. You don't know? No. Are you sure? You want me to go up there like... Yes. Oh, do you know what I'm like? Yes, OK. <laughs> Thank you for asking me. There we go. Feather boa. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, my goodness. You look brilliant. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Happy Pride. You shouldn't look on life as a journey. You should look on it as a dance. I was just thinking about that this morning and I thought it has to be a journey until you actually shed the loads that you're carrying and then you can dance. Next up, Dublin Pride. There is a lot of light. Thank God for that. I'm proud of who I am. I never expected anything like this in my life. 30 years ago, I couldn't do that. Couldn't. Just out now, and I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs>